Okay, so the first thing I'm going to take a look at is Andre Ward's jab down to the body uh, or the jab to the solar plexus. Now, I've been talking about this punch because it's such an effective punch for disrupting the rhythm of your opponent, momentarily halting their aggression, stealing their oxygen, especially when they miss. And you can hear their breathing, and that's very good to use towards the end of a fight. And also just for landing a stiff body shot from distance. And one punch that I stole from Floyd Mayweather that he originated was the jab to the stomach. Right to the solar plexus. Put both your hands up. Guys are not ready for the jab to the stomach. You can, I can look a guy right here, boom, hit him in the stomach. That's a body shot, but it's at long range. I don't have to be in close and be susceptible to short shots myself. I can be long range the first two rounds, boom, give me that air. Steal air from him. Boom, it's stabbing them in their, in their gut. That's it's also the, slowly breaking them down. I love that. Slowly breaking them down. I love that. Slowly breaking them down. I love that. So let's take a look at this. Here you see Andre Ward is able to close the distance between himself and Kessler by basically stepping his lead foot forward as he shoots the jab. Notice that Andre Ward changes level as he shoots the jab, keeping his punch in a straight line trajectory. Andre Ward is not punching down, he's punching straight. Now by leaving the trailing foot behind him, you can see that Andre Ward does not intend to follow up with the right hand because his stance has become too wide. He's simply using the jab to, to shoot a body shot and stab the solar plexus from distance and then get back outside punching range, as you see there. And here you see Andre Ward feint the jab to the head. This, of course, is going to momentarily divert Mikhail Kessler's attention away from his actual intended target, which, of course, is the body, which will allow Andre Ward to get away with his body shot, with the jab to the solar plexus. Now you see how Andre Ward shoots the jab, changing head slots and smothers Kessler off the jab. Again, smothers Kessler, moving his head out to the right. I can look a guy right here, boom, hit him in the stomach. I can look a guy right here, boom, hit him in the stomach. Now if you want to learn how to shoot the jab to the body like Andre Ward or Floyd Mayweather, you need to learn to not telegraph the jab using your eyes. Andre Ward and Floyd Mayweather look their opponents in the eye and make it seem like they're going to jab to the head and then they shoot the jab down to the body as you see from Andre Ward and again a combination of showing the lead hand looking your opponent in the eye shoot the jab to the body almost impossible to predict so like I said before looking your opponent in the eyes and then feint the lead hand shoot the jab down to the body here we see Andre Ward shoot the jab to the solar plexus See him change levels, move his head over to the right, so he basically changes head slots to avoid Mikhail Kessler's counter left hand. And now we're going to see Andre Ward proceed to smother Mikhail Kessler after shooting the jab down to the body. Now you see him smother Kessler. Now Kessler is going to push Andre Ward. Now if you pay attention to how Andre Ward actually lands on his trailing foot, you can see that he lands with his right foot in such a way that he's actually ready in a position to propel himself forward. And that's what you're going to see from Andre Ward. He's going to be able to propel himself. And as you can see, due to the way he lands on his trailing foot, he's able to push off or propel himself to land this leaping left hook, which catches Mikhail Kessler by surprise. His transition from defense to offense catches Kessler by surprise. Now, after that leaping left hook, look at how Andre Ward lands on his lead foot this time. See how he lands in such a way where he can propel himself backwards now out of punching range so here you also see Andre Ward lean over to the right side to avoid this jab from Mikhail Kessler just a genius you turn this way for a second when I fought Chad Dawson this it allows me to touch him feel him and then boom come over the top at the same time and he doesn't know if I'm going to parry with it or if I'm going to faint and come over the top so this is just something that allows me to not only get in range to punch, but it allows me to get out of range. Throw a punch at me. Spin out. Control you with this. Can move you. Can block with it. And keep this here. If I got my hand, if I got my right hand up to protect for a hook from a hook, you can throw whatever you want to throw. I'm in here. If I got my right hand up to protect for a hook from a hook. You can throw whatever you want to throw. I'm in here. Oh, 
Hold. Så han når det lige i sidste øjeblik og dybt arbejde. Kessler is going to shoot a left hook. Notice how Andre Ward uses that lead hand to disrupt Kessler's forward aggression. By sticking that lead hand in Kessler's face, it actively discourages Kessler's attack. Andre Ward also has his right hand holding the phone, so Ward is actually shelled up between his right hand and his lead shoulder. Great defense. Now Andre Ward's going to come forward. Kessler does well to avoid the attack. Now we're going to see Mikhail Kessler shoot a left hook again. Notice how Andre Ward is able to catch the left hook on his right hand while simultaneously using his lead hand to control Mikhail Kessler. Andre Ward uses the lead hand to control his opponents. This is one of the key reasons why the likes of Andre Ward and Floyd Mayweather are so difficult to fight. By controlling Kessler's head, there is a limited chance that Kessler can actually throw effective punches. Champions must control their opponents. Control you with this. Can move you. Can block with it. And keep this here. If I got my hand, if I got my right hand up to protect for a hook from a hook, you can throw whatever you want to throw. I'm in here. So here, even in the southpaw position, people seem to forget, you know, Andre Ward is actually one of the best switch hitters in the game. You can see Andre Ward using that lead hand to control the distance between himself and Kessler. See how he mixes off feints and upper body movements with this as well. Using that lead hand to control the distance. Then he shows the lead hand, shoots the straight left hand down to the body. Once again, Andre Ward shows the lead hand to Mikhail Kessler, shoots the, the straight left down to the body. Shows the, the lead hand to Mikhail Kessler. Kessler lifts up his def defense. Shoots the straight left hand down to the body. Okay, so finally, we're going to take a look at Andre Ward's ability to counterpunch using his lead hand. As Andre Ward fences with his lead hand, his opponents often find it difficult to mount any meaningful offense. In order to compensate for this situation, they often resort to using the jab. You know, basically in order to find an opening of some kind. And Andre Ward is able to make his opposition pay by countering the jab. In this case, with his lead hand. So here we see once again Andre Ward fencing with that lead hand, controlling the distance, measuring his distance. And then he pulls or fades away from Mikhail Kessler's jab. As you could see previously, Andre Ward was already leaning slightly forward, which helps him in baiting the jab from Kessler. And all he really has to do is pull back to avoid this jab. He just has to pull back. Notice as Andre Ward actually pulls from Kessler's jab, he takes a step back with his trailing foot to provide not only balance, but by taking this step back, Andre Ward is in a better position to propel himself forward to actually counter the jab after making Kessler miss. And so that's what you see there as he comes back with his lead hand. Once again, pay attention as the camera zooms in to that right trailing foot as Andre Ward steps back and counters. Please make sure you click the red button to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Then check out some of my previous videos or you could check out one of my more popular videos right now. Or you could do absolutely nothing and go out to the outro music. A couple niggas that's down the ride for a homicide when it's drama time Run up on a nigga with the llamas flying, leave his loved ones all traumatized 150, I'm really with it, I'll drop his ass and then forget it On a man round my side of town, might see a bitch and forget I hit it Lil' baby on the track with me, one mistake and he got 50